Hey guys, uh, David at Twice Diecast. This past July the 10th, Saturday, I hit the road for a toy convention and diecast show up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. About two hours down the road. It's always a good drive from Birmingham to Chattanooga. A little bit rain uh, this day, but nonetheless, was looking forward to a great show. Pulled into Chattanooga after passing some pretty rad cars on the way there. Knew we were headed in the right direction. No worries. The skies parted. Sun came out. And we were ready to hit this show hard. This was in a pretty good size arena. So I was pretty pumped up. Let's go inside. Let's take a look at it. Check it out with me. So right off the bat, um, place wasn't full. This is a big arena. Um, so for it to not be totally full, that's fine. This is a, uh, I had to keep telling myself this is a toy and die cast show. There are lots of toys. I'm not going to hit as many toys as uh, I had planned. I shot a lot of footage. It ended up being way too long a video. You can see some RC cars there. So we'll just look at a lot of die cast today. Pretty cool, 20th anniversary. Hot Wheel sets. Some of the prices, um, take a look like this midnight purple skyline is 70 bucks you know the prices just vary throughout the show different people asking for different prices a lot of rlc a lot of convention cars here's some really cool old lesney you can see the matchbox boxes underneath these cases saw a couple that grabbed my eye uh, and here's me just kind of checking out the condition of them I really like this, I don't even know what this, ESO Grifo, ISO Grifo, I don't know how to say it, but I love the car, it's absolutely cool, 60s vehicle, uh, have been meaning to pick one of those up for myself, today wasn't the day, um, took a very limited amount of cash with me so I wouldn't get myself in trouble, but I spent every penny of it, and we'll see what I got at the end of the day. So we'll just keep on swinging. Uh, there you can see this toy was 450 bucks. So they had some high-end toys. Basically had everything. There were dollar Hot Wheels for kids. Um, here's a lot more RLC. You can see some of these, you know, over triple digits pretty easily. Pretty cool 510 wagon up there. There's the uh, gold 510 in this one right beside the $70 Skyline. That one was for 100 So I would imagine had I stayed toward the end of the day, I probably could have haggled, uh, but I wasn't looking at any of this high-end stuff today. So I'll probably let you guys just look at some cards here for a little bit. We'll listen to some tunes, and when I see things that are interesting, I'll jump back in here. All right, so I uh, did want to speak on this. I asked the seller of these treasure hunt sets what he wanted. Not this one, but the the one after this was 150 bucks. Liked it because of this yellow 512 that's in it. Kind of like the Hot Wheels marketing or box that they put this out in. It's a pretty neat presentation. I had not seen this before. I'm sure a lot of hardcore Hot Wheels fans have. But it is pretty neat that you can get all of the treasure hunts for the year um, in one place. Only thing about it, I mean, you get a gotta go toilet and a shopping cart in that treasure hunt for that year. This guy also had some pretty cool Chris Stangler customs. If you're not familiar with his work, a very famous customizer of Hot Wheels. Yeah. 
got excited when I saw that Hot Wheels carrying case. I used to have one of those. It wasn't anything old in there. These two packs are pretty cool. Kroger exclusives, I believe. But uh, on one, you get a Kroger truck and a Peugeot. That was pretty neat. You'll see what I mean in that wheel right there. It was just nothing but NASCAR. This one caught my eye. You get a nice 53 Corvette with a C2 beside it. C3. Corvette guy that doesn't know his model numbers is pretty... Uh, pretty sad but on we go here's another table of just treasure hunts don't know if you can see the prices neat convention 510 wagon I believe it was 150 bucks this uh, particular vendor had some really nice pieces at the top of the table here you'll see a golf raptor pretty soon and it is hundred and fifty dollars lots of m2 and green light chase pieces I would say maybe half of the tables at this show were chase pieces and that's not an exaggeration a lot of ultra reds here from auto world we had green machines we had white lightnings ultra reds treasure hunts Kind of digging that fox body Mustang. Had not seen this version of the 95 Ford Bronco. Maybe I just didn't recognize the accessories, but it's pretty cool. Plenty of green light able to be found. And there's a good old 918 Super Treasure Hunt. This one was cool. Picked this up for a buddy. I'll tell you more about the reason it's called a T5 later in the video when I go over the purchases. I did get that one. And not sure why I stopped on these team transports. I think I was kind of uh, flabbergasted by the $80 price on that Skyline set. Some of these vendors were really out of control with their prices. They, these were a couple I almost got. This 67 Ford Broncos, neat, as is that DBS. Try and get you guys prices on all this stuff. This one killed me right here. I don't know what the deal is on this Civic. 25 and I think that was each. I'm not, not joking. And I don't know, I hope this price was for all three of these, but I'm, I'm guessing not. This Hot Ones Porsche 930. Feel free to leave me a comment on why in the world that thing is that valuable.
And the difference between the midnight purple skyline and this blue one is just crazy. 225 for that one. 140 for the 510 wagon. Pretty cool car. We'll see some high-end stuff today on this video. There were uh, there was the entire spectrum of dollar main lines to vehicles over a thousand dollars. This guy's pricing really was all over the map. Zamax, if anybody is interested, this is what you could have seen and, and found at this show. Little bit pricey at $5 each for most of them, but I understand a lot of you collectors don't have them readily available in your area. Probably would have jumped at the chance to go through that table. We'll start to make our way to the best vendor that I found at this show. Uh, there's a gentleman from Tennessee who set up a lot of tables and a lot of current as well as old stuff. And when I say current, I mean even more current than this Matchbox truck series. His prices were fantastic. I asked him about that. He said he just... He can get them cheap, so he resells them cheap. I've got his information. If you guys want to hit him up on um, email or Facebook, I think his business card has both ways to contact him. This is all his stuff, and you'll see the prices. $650 for current uh, premium matchbox. Okay, that's okay. But um, what I got impressed with was... You'll see here in a second, he has brand new Auto World for $4.50 each. Stuff that, frankly, just hit the peg. Different variations, different colors. If you want to get in touch with this guy, he's, he's a fair reseller. Here's his information. Pause the video. Reach out to him on social media. Email, Facebook. Here are examples of what I found. Brand new. Aston Martin Lagonda, the white versions of the C8 Corvette, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. I picked up a white Supra as well. Just loads and loads of them. He didn't have one of each. He had five, six, maybe eight each. Here's a silver Supra. Just thought the guy was a decent guy. Great prices. Wasn't looking to hustle anybody. Lots of old vintage matchbox as well you know i'm not gonna pay somebody all this praise if they you know just a hoarder and a scalper that runs out and gets 10 of everything new he's got the old stuff as well these premier are 350 each not a bad price didn't see any that jumped out at me some of them were pretty wild on the paint schemes I just took this video as an example of the scope of his collection. He's got the old Matchbox, he's got the good stuff here for a buck each mixed in with older stuff. See some gold Chrysler, excuse me, Atlantics in there. A Weasel, White Civic, Green MGB, all fairly new. 
Here's some classic ones with the Tyco wheels. Still a dollar. Even got some old Lesneys here. Well, maybe not here, but he did have some. This was an example of his loose. I just wanted to check out the condition that they were in. There's the brand new white Holden, as well as the convertible speed tail. Both versions of the MR2, if you weren't familiar, MR2, and I learned this on Fex Death, one has the headlamps up, one has them down. There's both versions for you to check out. Now, who do we have here? So obviously I knew David was going to be there. Checked out his stuff. He brought some of his RLC, some of his higher end pieces. You can see the gold wing. There's a De Tommaso Mangusta. A couple of these RLC pieces that I've picked up recently. Won't spend a whole lot of time on his stuff. We've all seen it. I've tried to shoot it plenty for you guys. Just saw on Danny's diecast a couple neat hearses, and I don't have one. So this was a really clean Johnny Lightning hearse. No uh, Dracula theme to it or anything like that. Just thought it was cool. If you guys haven't seen these Johnny Lightning Holiday Editions, they all are super shiny metallic paint jobs, but they're pretty cool. Not bad cars at all. So let's look at the high, high-end stuff. There was a couple cabinets of stuff that was crazy expensive. Here is $1,350 for three of these gassers. This Camaro, I just, I don't get it. I don't think I'll ever pay that much for a single piece for my collection. For less than a thousand dollars, you can be the owner of those two wagons. Or, heck, for less than two thousand, you can own that Porsche. I mean, that's a deal. You guys should definitely take advantage of that. It's fun to look at the expensive stuff. All in all, big arena, wasn't quite full. Foot traffic was a little light, kind of disappointing. I know some of the vendors had higher hopes. I'll wrap up my part of the video here, listen to what I got, and I'll come back here in a minute. Okay guys, just left the show. Uh, initial thoughts are, I don't know if it was the weather, bad weather coming in that scared everybody off. Pretty low turnout. Um, vendors had some pretty good deals, just the foot traffic was pretty bad. So I uh, kind of felt for the vendors, I talked with a few of them. A lot of them worked pretty hard to, to set up. Uh, I guess that's just the nature of the beast. Anyway, let's take a look at what I did get. Um, I bought some stuff for myself and also got some gifts for friends. And hope you enjoyed taking a look at what was at this show. Uh, stick around and let's see what I got. All right, it is hot here in Alabama, so let's get these windows up and take a look at these cars and go get us some lunch. Great morning here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. First up, um, pretty new casting, I think. 1982 Dodge Diplomat. This is a Chuck at Flying Valiant right in his kind of wheelhouse. 
this one is for me. I don't have this version and I like it a lot. Check out that kind of like a simulated canvas top. The wheels look amazing. Kind of the wire spokes. Um, pretty cool one. Obviously part of the entertainment package or series from Greenlight. Beverly Hills Cop 2. I don't remember the car. I guess this was your typical nondescript police vehicle. And as noted in the past, no reference to the movie in the uh, on the back of the card. I got this for uh, Tyrone at Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. Um, this is for our regular trade box. I thought he might like this Alabama. That's where I'm located. And that is what our license plates actually look like. Um, so this is another one of those 50th anniversary packages series. Um, here's a cool one. This is going to Joe at XLT Off-Road Bear. This is a Ford Mustang, but apparently in Germany, Joe, I don't know if you knew this, the Mustang moniker was already copyrighted by a large truck maker. So Ford had to call the Mustang a T5 in Germany. So that's pretty cool. Maybe one to leave in the package. Just a neat thing to, to see a Ford Mustang called a T5. Um, got this from my buddy Christian. He has uh, tasked me with finding him an S4 Quattro. And I have not seen this one yet on the pegs. And you guys saw that Matchbox vendor, <clears throat> the one that was very reasonable. This was 450, so less than retail. And I've got one of the newer Hot Wheels Premiums. All right, uh, this one, I uh, don't know who this is going to yet, but this is such a cool vehicle. I might keep this one actually. Um, maybe not, Johnny Lightning's not 164. But it is so cool. Look at that. Uh, Chevy Citation. Hot Wheels has a version. I uh, used to like it, and now I love the car because it's really ugly and horrible. Um, and kind of right up my alley now with the obscure 80s castings. Let's see what else was in the series. Firebird Funny Car. Anyway, uh, older Johnny Lightning. What is this from? You guys find a date? I haven't found it yet. 2011, maybe 2012. Anyhow, that is a 1981 Chevy Citation. Had to have this one. Um, I bought one for my buddy Saul that will be in his upcoming box. Sorry for the spoiler, but it is a newer casting in Aston Martin, and this is a Lagonda, 1983. So a four-door Aston Martin. And yeah, had to have that one. So here's a couple I got for myself. Uh, that same guy that had the Aston Martin and the Hot Wheels Premium had some newer Auto World. And here's the white version of the C8. This is the one that you can really see the lines. The two black versions I have. I mean, you just you don't get uh, you don't get the full effect of the car. So this is an amazing casting by Auto World, and happy to have the white one. Same story on the Toyota Supra. I like the white version. I've got the silver, and this is a winner. Here's your lights, license plate, Auto World, Toyota Supra. That might be all we got in the bag. Nope, we got one more. Rick, whole lot of zip. I heard you mention the green with the Union Jack on top. This is apparently a premium that came out from Hot Wheels. It has real riders on it. Uh, even with tread and I asked the guy I had never seen it I asked this guy if it was a custom and it wasn't so Rick this this one is going to you and I hope you like it hope you hadn't got it yet but this, uh, this is a premium I didn't know was out there 
all right that's it that's what i got guys didn't take a whole lot of money down there with me um pretty small show pretty low turnout but it was fun nonetheless hope you enjoyed it take care have a good day all right let's take it to the house everybody chattanooga has some pretty awesome views as you drive out there's the river on your right mountains in front of you always going to be traffic so there's two things i can always guarantee a trip to chattanooga will include if you're going with me that is chick-fil-a for lunch and traffic as you leave once we get out of the city it's smooth sailing back to alabama but in the meantime a little time for me to eat my nuggets and waffle fries before we get back on the road but with pictures like this on both sides of you i guess we'll give them a pass mountains both ways that you look really great drive and just always enjoy myself All right, almost done. Appreciate you guys watching. Always appreciate it. Um, as I make my way back to Alabama, I hope you guys will check out the next video. This is David from Twice Diecast. Take care.